Havoc's. Until recently, Raspberry Pis with D0 chipset were unable to install Windows. However, this has changed with a new version of UEFI BIOS from a different maker, which will enable you to install Windows on Raspberry Pi 5, Raspberry Pi 500, Compute Module 5 and all Raspberry Pis with D0 chipset. What you've basically got to do is to download new UEFI BIOS zip file and to extract it over the boot partition of your Windows installation. So if you are making a new Windows installation, then you just make it with uh, any kind of tool. And if it makes the old style boot partition that is only capable of starting with Raspberry Pis with C1 system on chip, then just copy this new UEFI BIOS over and it's gonna start with anything that's based on BCM2712 system on chip. This is basically Raspberry Pi 5, Raspberry Pi 500, Raspberry Pi Compute Module 5. That's it. And it works regardless on the amount of RAM that's uh, available, provided that there is enough RAM uh, for Windows. This means uh, from 2 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes. It works on an SD card and uh, an SSD drive. So there are many options and uh, it also works fast enough from an SD card. So if you don't have an SSD drive, it's not obligatory, but it's uh, a very good choice if you are going to use your Windows installation regularly. You can also activate your Windows if you buy a license and this also works. Basically, you can turn your Raspberry Pi into an ARM based PC. Okay. We are going to install Windows 11 on the new Raspberry Pi 5 with the zero chipset and this is really amazing because you can have 16 gigabytes of RAM and it's great with Windows. Many desktop PCs, classic desktop PCs uh, have 16 gigabytes of RAM and therefore actually why not? Uh, you can also use Raspberry Pi with 16 gigabytes of RAM. It works perfectly provided that you have an external uh, network card. No improvements as well uh, with this uh, word flasher. Uh, this is four years ago, six months ago. So I do have uh, word flasher on my machine. And so uh, the author has very cleverly made uh, himself an option to send some kind of information to the users. So information updates as you can see it says that you cannot install uh, windows on this this is not true anymore you can do this but he's convinced that the only way of installing windows right now is through bvm project bvm project is a great product you can watch a video about this project but we still have this old war flasher i think that war flasher will get updated sooner or later uh, because uh, a new UEFI BIOS will be incorporated but for now there is a warning that you can only use it for the old type of uh, Raspberry Pi with C1 chipset okay uh, system on chip let me show you the new UEFI BIOS and the one this is the one one number one GT so if you go here you can download it this is a great thing actually. Uh, you have one release here, so download a package from here. This is this is the only thing that you need from this project. And what you have to do basically is just to first install Windows as if it was installed for uh, the old version and then you just copy over this uh, version of UEFI BIOS but what's more interesting is what, work and what works and what doesn't from the previous maker of UEFI BIOS if you take a comparison to the old version uh, this the discontinued version from the February we may conclude that actually somebody took over this project and simply upgraded it for the new chipsets but he wouldn't add or she wouldn't add any more functionality to it so just the basic upgrade to make 
D0 uh, system on chip work. Uh, how I did it? I've used uh, Raspberry Pi 5 without any kind of classic species. It had a Raspberry Pi OS. I've browsed the UU dump uh, web page. I've created installer package. Each installer package includes three different installers. One for Linux, one for Windows and the last one for Mac OS. So basically what you have to do is uh, to run the appropriate installer executable to start downloading all the necessary files uh, and to assemble ISO file. The tool that is able to assemble ISO file is ARIA and uh, it does more or less all the things uh, automatically. What is important is that you have a quality drive where you pump the data from the internet so you don't get stalled or let's say with some poor SD card or something. I've used um, my Raspberry Pi with an attached old-fashioned uh, hard drive through a USB uh, to SATA controller. So this is really a very simple setup. Download went smoothly. I think that I could have used uh, also a good SSD card. And You basically get an installation that is capable of running on a uh, system on chip, uh, the older version, C0 or C1. Uh, but then you have to open the uh, boot drive and to copy over the files that I've shown you before. So uh, I've got new UEFI bytes here and I'm going to create a new folder here to be able to extract it. So let's say UEFI uh, okay, 01B0 version 1 and that's it that's be good enough so I'll have this folder it doesn't matter how I name it and I'm going to copy this file here and now I'm going to extract it here so I get all the files so you see I've got all of it uh, I don't need this one so I can delete this one or I can leave it here but I don't have to copy it so I'm not going to copy it here uh, I've reinserted the Windows installation drive. So it's on an SS and an SD card. So I've reinserted it. So I'm going to copy over this files. So this is what I'm going to do. Okay, I don't care. And I click overwrite. And that's it. So we are basically ready now to start uh, Windows installation. So I did all this and then um, I set my SD card. I placed it into a USB uh, to SD card, micro SD card interface, and I've connected it to one of uh, USB ports on my Raspberry Pi 5, and I rebooted Raspberry Pi 5 in uh, in a, a mode that prioritizes boot from USB drive. In this case, everything went uh, normally. It was very smooth. I got uh, through the installation process. It's all the same as it was before. So watch uh, the videos that I've published before and you'll see how it works. It's very, very, very simple. Here I'm running Windows on Raspberry Pi with 16 gigabytes of RAM and it's pretty much stable so if you've liked this video please press like and subscribe button and don't forget about the notification button see you in the next video bye